Good. For a lot of parents, this spring revealed a painful truth. They aren't good teachers, like single mom Zoe Fishman in Atlanta. Being a single parent is hard enough, but this was on another level of exhaustion. Facing another school year of at least some remote learning, Fishman is gathering a group of parents who plan to hire her brother, a teacher, to teach the kids when they aren't in school. Five families, um, two hours, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Would you rely on the curriculum of the public school system? Yes, yes, we're not asking Brenner to reinvent the wheel. It is a teaching strategy now sweeping the country, the pandemic pod, allowing kids to be together and learn while their parents work. It was tiring, not fun. Online learning was tough for Blake Tassie, a third grader outside of Washington, D.C. His parents say the pods are just what he needs. You really want to get the best for your child, and you want to maximize the learning on those online days. But for many families, it's just too costly. The teachers have to be paid, and in some cases, the space being used costs money, too. For those families that are most vulnerable, particularly lower-income families, black families, brown families, language minority families, they're locked out of that. Experts say that will widen the education gap. They're creating their own form of private school. When you start to do that, we know that the inequality effects are going to multiply over time. Zoe Fishman's pod will cost roughly $150 a week. These kids get one chance of being kids and they're forced to deal with these issues that are on an adult level that they really shouldn't have to be dealing with. In the scramble to save the school year for some, there is the risk of many more being left behind. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.